State officials today announced a jobs program that will hire hundreds of people in Joplin. Now, this will give priority to those who lost their jobs there because of the tornado. Chris Hernandez is live with more now. Chris. Well, good evening again, Mark. And here in Joplin, most of the cleanup efforts that are underway involve private contractors. You can see here there's a lot of heavy equipment parked in this parking lot right across the street from a church. It's all being called in to help with the effort. And tonight, this effort is being ramped up with a big infusion of federal money that will provide a lot of jobs, even as some other businesses do whatever it takes to try to stay open. We found this just blown over in a pile of debris, so we just put it up and started to work. A tornado damage table is her new desk. Her office is a camper by the side of the road. I'll call you whatever's first available. Sherry Garvin is glad to be working, sides. even though her business, Stowaway Storage, was flattened by the tornado, all 382 units. We don't have any printer, of course, you know. Just working without power is a lot different. I had, had my office pretty well organized, and this has been challenging. Down the street, Home Depot has opened a small lumber yard with basic building materials. About a dozen employees are on duty this afternoon, but Home Depot says all 90 employees from this store are still being paid. The company plans to build a new store on this site. In the meantime, the government plans to hire about 400 people to help with cleanup and debris removal. Our, our focus is to try to try to get those uh, the folks that are working to be local folks here, so that we can, uh, uh, and that's that's the goal here is just to make sure that uh, they're they're put on the front of the line. 5.8 million federal dollars will pay workers hired by private contractors. Workers can apply now at this job center in downtown Joplin. Now, even if you apply now, it will take about two weeks before you can actually start work under this new program because they have to do all the processing and the interviews. The big question right now is how many people have actually lost their jobs? How many people are affected by job loss because of the tornado? Today, state officials said the number could be anywhere from 4,500 all the way up to 9,000. They are working with city officials to try to pin that down to a more accurate number so that they can know how much help is needed here in terms of creating jobs for those people. Reporting live in Joplin, Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News. Hey, Chris, just watching the video still, the destruction is so overpowering. Do they have any idea how long these people will be employed to do this cleanup? It will be quite some time. They, again, didn't give an exact number for that, but just looking at the debris, it's going to take months to clear this out, and there is this whole process. Uh, they have three different kinds of jobs. The people who will segregate the debris, separate it out by category, the people who will pick it up, and the people who will haul it off. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done. So if you have those kind of skills and you're looking for a job, uh, that's one thing that will keep you busy for quite yeah. some time. I would say. Okay, Chris, thanks a lot. Getting back to work would be good sure. for many people there.